Alright, so what new laptops were we getting? Chromebooks! Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, we are gonna get the last iteration of the MacBook Airs. So it's gonna be, it's gonna look very similar to the laptops we have. Um, we're getting faster processors, we're getting a little better video card in there. Um, we tried a lot of the other Mac products, we tried some PC products. Um, none of them really worked for us. Um, some had problems with high-end video and photography applications and that was a really important part for us was we wanted to make sure that the people that are doing really awesome stuff with our laptops can still do it. Um, we played with the new MacBook, um, which was something that was kind of interesting to me, uh, but just didn't handle some of the apps that we use very well. Um, so we're getting something that's a little faster than what we have now, um, and I'm really excited about it. We'll be getting brand new cases. Um, right now we are in talks with Brent Haven. Uh, we've been testing various models, trying to figure out which one works best for our environment. Uh, we do like the cases we have. Um, some people have had their cases for four years and they're still working fine. Their zippers are great. And Brent Haven has been really, really great with their lifetime warranty for placing our cases. Um, they've really taken care of us for the last few years, so I wouldn't expect a large change, um, but one thing we are kind of looking into is we are looking into customizing the bags this year. We're looking into putting some Red Knight logos on there, uh, maybe putting the shield on there, um, giving it just a little bit of a BSM touch. I think next year we'll see all the new Apple apps on there. You'll have Keynote, Pages, the newest GarageBand, the newest iMovie. Um, we're still reaching out to departments right now and seeing what teachers want on the next device. Um, we're going to have the new Adobe Creative Cloud and I think for a lot of those users they're going to be excited to see some of the changes that we have. And with that, uh, you're going to have the Creative Cloud app where you'll be able to update your own Adobe apps, you'll be able to choose which Adobe apps are on your computer, um, which for some people will save them 20, 30 gigs of space, um, and for others it'll let them download and play with other apps that they might not get to use in class, but maybe want to spend a little bit of free time exploring and seeing what they can do with it. So, um.